Hello, welcome to the animal stream where we are going to eat and test which animal tastes the best today. No. Featuring Maya. Wrong. We oh, are going to meet a bunch of animals. For those of you who don't know, Elvis is an animal sanctuary. Lud drove out into the boonies to, to meet all these animals. He's going to meet them and then he's going to try their favorite foods and he's going to rank them because that's what YouTubers do. Tier list. Don't say it like that. You said it like it's beneath you, all right? I honestly thought Maya was running a <laughs> subpar establishment. Like if it was a restaurant, they'd have a C out front for food standards, but it's like really well done and the animals are living good. They, they, they're, they're more well kept than me. Okay. Boys! Are you guys ready to meet some animals today? Let's meet some animals. Ludwig, actually. Whoa! Look who it is! What a fat guy. Okay, that's really mean. Okay, he's a big guy though. This is Georgie. Boys. Look at that. Boys. So the reason that we have Georgie, 33% of amphibians worldwide are at risk. We're wearing gloves. Of what? Going extinct. Oh, that's bad. Yes. Oh, okay. Yeah. It's All right. <laughs> My bad, bro. We're gonna start off really, really strong here today. Oh, is that octopus? Why is it red? What is this? Dude, no. It's not frozen <laughs> anymore. Dude, what is that? No. I can't eat that, bro. <laughs> I can't eat. Don't okay. take it out no. with the forceps. No. All right. Here he you, moves quick. He, uh, okay, here you go, George. Okay, okay, hold up. Oh, nice. He, oh. What? Oh, <laughs> son of a bitch! He's <laughs> under him. I He's know, confused. I, well, I don't know. Help him! Okay, yeah, nicely done. Is that it? That's it. He's eating. Uh, dude, he seems like he needs a lot of help. Okay, I said I would eat everything the animals ate. Can you just cut me off the tail? Just give me like a little tail, like it's like calamari. If Georgie can do it, why can't I do it? Oh, wait, Lud, give him that. Oh my God, what are you? He needs another one, give him the other one. He wants both? Yeah, give him this one. George is needy. All right, you, does he like head first or tail first? No, he hates you, oh. <laughs> there you go, look at that. That was clean, bro. Are you disappointed you didn't get to try the most? I thought we would like chef it up a little bit. You know, maybe throw it, throw it in, in like a in a in a rice peel off. You know, but it was just raw, and that's tough, tough to look at. So, I'm not bummed. I thought I'd maybe snip off a piece of the tail, but my I was like, <laughs> so, ax that idea. You want to know a crazy fact about frogs? What? Um, they used to use them as pregnancy tests. What? <laughs> George. Oh my God, you're pregnant. <laughs> <laughs> Chytrid fungus is a pathogen that kills amphibians worldwide, right? It's killed almost 100 species of amphibians worldwide. And one of the possible origins of chytrid fungus is before we had disposable pregnancy tests. You ever taken a pregnancy test? No, I haven't yet. Okay, so the ones where you pee on a stick? Before we had those, they would inject the back of African clawed frogs with female urine. And if the woman was pregnant or if the pregnancy hormone HCG was present in the urine, then the frog would lay eggs. And so that's how they knew that, uh, that the woman was and pregnant. And the eggs had little babies in them? Uh, <laughs> yeah, and then the frog would have the woman's baby. <laughs> it's crazy how that works. Half it woman, is, half frog. All it takes is pee. That's where the prince and the frog came from. Yeah, anyway, so that's a culture. Possible... And so that maybe created the pathogen? No, so it, may, it maybe spread it, right? It's like bringing mm. African fro frogs into the States and then them getting out. What is that? Ew. It's larva, I just don't know what kind. Oh, gross. Have you had this before? Hell no. Why don't you eat the animal that you want your, your... Oh my... George! <laughs> what was that about? He wants the larva. <laughs> Bro, you ate two mice today. Eat it so that he doesn't get jealous. Oh, do I eat it whole or <laughs> half of it? <laughs> it's a, it's really, it's huge. Are you cooking? Oh, he's chewing it. Oh. Oh, he's... You don't have to... Ah. Ew. Ah. <laughs> so, this is a siren. Hello, Siren. She sings happy birthday. It's really good. You want to hear it? Yeah, I would love to. <laughs> Siren, can you sing happy birthday? Hi. <laughs> That's the whole thing? That's it? You didn't like it? Yeah, no, I liked it. I think you just bit off a little more than Siren can chew. Can you sing happy birthday? Birthday. <laughs> Siren's vocab confuses me a bit, for sure. Um, it does somewhat convince me that birds are government drones, because Siren was definitely saying Norway, so I don't know what that's about. Here, you can actually, you can give her a pistachio. 
Pistachio. I'm really? warning you, she doesn't I'm like nervous. men. Yeah, that's why you said she doesn't like men. What is, how does that actualize, not liking men here? <laughs> okay. <laughs> the funny, here you go. Okay. So nice. Oh, that was so gentle. Oh. That's so nice. Wait, this guy's actually a pro. Yeah, she's like really good. Um, if you want to have a competition with Siren, oh, you're going to lose. I already know it. There's you and Siren in a race who can deshell and spit out the shell faster. Here Easy. you go. One, two, three. Do you want to? Oh, f with Siren. <laughs> I don't f with birds. Birds terrify me. They're just, the fact that they can fly around and like swoop in is like, Stressful. This is Noodle. She's a coastal carpet python. Um, we got her. She was overstocked from a zoo in California. Um, they couldn't use her in educational programs because uh, she would strike at the glass when people walked by. So <laughs> they couldn't use her for programs. And, but now she lives here. What do you think this is? This is a program. We sh should we use? Is there glass that I could have? Okay, you can hold this end. Okay, I'm not even gonna lie. I feel like constricting is a meme. Like I, I feel like if a boa constrictor was on me. No, if you were getting constricted, there's, you, you're not like poor. Uh, well, I could, but. No. I, I know some people couldn't for sure. I've never been scared of holding a snake because I think if it were to constrict me, I could rip it off. And I still believe that. And Maya said it, I couldn't, but I don't believe her. I think she's wrong. And it's not poisonous, so I felt fine about it. All oh, right, there you go. Oh. Very nice. Hey, Noodle, so cute. I feel like Britney Spears. Whoa! It's a it looks like a little dragon. Dude, it's a shiny. It has a blue tongue. Yeah, he's a blue tongued skink. You've been licking, licking blue raz. <laughs> what, what, it's a blue tongued skank? No, a skink, don't call him a skank. What's the word you're saying? Skink. Hi, skink. S-K-I, and look, his little legs are hanging off the back. The blue tongued skank, cool shiny Pokemon in the animal kingdom. They can actually like rip flesh, it's crazy. I saw a video recently on Twitter of this guy that oh, yeah. picked up a, no, he's chill, okay. um, picked up a wild blue tongue skink and it was like his whole, like the, the meat of his right there was like ripped off. My, um, he seems like he The wants. crazy thing about that too is they don't even have teeth. It's just pure bite force, so it hurts so bad. I guess babies can't do it though. No, he totally could. He's not, he's not a baby baby. Oh, okay. He totally could. Cool. But he won't, he's chill. Look, he, look at him. Oh, he's on the move, he's on the move. Were you at all afraid of it ripping off your skin on your hands? Maybe, but I mean, at this point, I feel like if that happened, I can sue for at least a couple marmosets, maybe a couple crows, and I think that offsets it, you know? This is Marty. That's Marty? Yeah. Is it named after something? McFly? Uh, the zebra from, because it's a zebra I suppose. Oh, uh, okay, okay. Is that, a, uh, is that a crew? Yeah, this, this is... Uh, oh, ew. I don't like when there's many. I like when there's one. This is Marty. This is Marty. Wait, they're all Marty? Mar Do you want to try to name them or tell them apart? This oh, is Oh, so we don't get to name bugs because I guess they're all one and the same. Hmm. Marty. Here's the thing about bugs. One bug, great. I love it. I don't mind touching it. I don't mind handling it. When there's enough bugs that they could overwhelm me from sheer force, like a billion lions versus all Pokemon, that's when I'm out. That's like too many. Um, you want to have a competition? Of what? With Tico? Yeah, he easy. Can Shell this? Open this. Can I get one more? Okay, well this is because my strategy is I'm, I'm supposed to use another one to crack it. Are you ready? Uh, well, kind of, okay, yeah, ready. Ready, set, go. Oh! You're <laughs> bro. You're <laughs> bro. Okay, that was actually I'm crazy. I'm way better than you, I'm, bro. I don't, did you crack your teeth? No. Okay. Maybe. <laughs> no, that's just walnut. I thought you were gonna do it with your hands. <laughs> No, I know how to crack a walnut, bro. It's not a walnut. Wait, what is it? It's a pecan. What? It's a pecan. 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 Pecan, but a pecan. <gasps> Let's see. Is that a horse? No, that's an emu. Stompy chicken. Does Stompy like you? Yeah, we're friends. Does Stompy like know you for sure, for yeah, sure? Yeah, 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 yeah. Does Stompy like pets? Yeah. Or is look. it more of a human thing? Stompy's a big, Stompy likes hugs. Oh, so nice. They're so nice. They're so nice. That's a nice chicken. Wow. I've had Stompy since he was 15 days old. He was like a little watermelon, like this big. You wanna hug him? Yeah, sure. Stompy, he's gonna give you a hug, okay? Hello. Hi, mister. Hi. Oh, look at us. <laughs> oh, look at all we've been through. Hi. Why are you getting low? Hi. <laughs> Hello. Hi, Stompy. 
Hi. Oh, that's really nice. Thank you. Thank you. I'm going to hug you. Okay. Okay, great. Thank you. This is Carhartt. Jesus. What? Hug the bird. What are you doing? That's so Dude, he's awkward. biting. He's biting, like, <laughs> my nipple. Come in here uh -huh. and don't eat the carrots and you and hug the bird. You Dude. see? Just a nice oh, little over the shoulder. Close your eyes. Hug. Close his eyes? His eyes? Stompy will close his eyes if you're petting. Does Stompy have a dick? Um, no. Stompy has a cloaca. Why has everyone got a cloaca? Because they're birds. Hi. All right, we're going to do the same thing now. Yay, that's oh, so nice. Gentle. I'm so gentle. This is so nice. <laughs> this is so nice for both of us. We both like this equally. <laughs> kind of felt like uh, me and Stompy had a similar relationship to like what you do as a third grader when your mom is friends with another mom and they have you two hang out. And it's like, we don't have much in common, but we have like some mutual connections. No chemistry off rip. The hug was awkward, giving a lot of grade school energy. So, you know, maybe we'll get there, but right now, you know, best as just peers. Yeah. Wow, I felt actually like the seventh grade and like a date was ending. <laughs> that was terrible. We're gonna go in here and see how they feel, but they're really uh, flighty birds. Like they're usually scared yeah. um, of people or of like new people. A woman died from these in Alfred Hitch Hitchcock's movie. So. Did, did she? Thank you. I have crow's feet, look. No. <laughs> crow's feet's here. <laughs> it's my wrinkles. <laughs> Do you imagine yeah. my dogs are out too? I'm just barefoot this whole time. Too they're much really going smart, on. Right? Yeah, they're super smart. Do they, does this guy know anything? Too much going on. Um, he can put rings on a stick. <laughs> yeah. He can, wow. He can, he can imitate an owl. <laughs> Okay. Um, so like intimidate predators or just for fun? Just for fun. Okay. Okay. I'm going to throw you a few exotic animals. You tell me which one would actually be a good house pet. Red pandas. No. Why? <laughs> because they're not meant to be pets. They're wild animals. But they're cute. They are really cute. Koalas. No. You just give them some <laughs> weed. They koalas? stay high. Koalas are pretty gnarly, actually. I, they, I've heard that they can be really aggressive. Hippos. God, no. Baby hippos. No. A cow. N I mean, not a pet. You can't have that in your house. In the house. He they poop in the house. a lot. You have a room for it that you close and you vacuum. There'd be so much poop. Okay. Final one. Monkey. Like the worst. The absolute worst. Monkeys are, they're so smart. They need so much stimulation. They can bite really, really hard. And um, their ecological niche in the wild is to be seed dispersers, right? So they're, they're meant to help with forest regrowth. So they eat fruits and they swing around on the trees and they shit everywhere so that trees grow. Okay. So if you have a monkey in your house, it's just gonna swing on the rafters and shit it all over your stuff. Counterpoint, Ross from Friends. Counterpoint. How do you do it? How do you do it? Fake. Okay. Bro. I've dumped in, not even memeing, 170K into this. I don't got one plaque in this bitch. 170, I don't have a single plaque. I'm looking around like, like maybe etched into the dirt, you know, throw LA into a tree. That's fine. I'm not greedy. I got nothing. So I don't know. I think I'm just going to like leave a plaque, you know, I'll just, I'll bring one. All right, and then lastly, any parting words? Give some love to Alvaeus. I mean, that's about it, right? They're, they're doing a good job. They have a real <laughs> operation. You know where your money's going. You can directly donate to animals and sanctuaries. So it's pretty cool. All right, GG's.